welcome back to my channel. I'm Sue with Homesteading with Sue, and today I am going to um, show you a 14-day bread recipe. I noticed that I had not showed it to you since I had started doing the correct way of videoing, so I thought I would go ahead and uh, show you how to do it today, and then... Um, we will make some cinnamon rolls and some bread with it so you can see how easy it is to work with. So what I'm going to do first is I have some warm water here. Don't want it too hot. Want it about 100 degrees. Because you don't want to kill your yeast. This is what it's a 14 day um, bread dough that you keep in your refrigerator. So, this is a two cup measuring cup. So, you'll put three cups of water in. two and a half, and three, and I'm going to put dry active yeast in it, two tablespoons, and I forgot to grab my stirrer. I keep my yeast in the refrigerator so that it stays good longer. This is a Danish dough whisk. I'm just going to whisk my my water and my yeast together. And this recipe I um, got from Carolyn Thomas of Homesteading Family. And it calls for one and a half tablespoons of salt. I am using a pink salt. And I am only going to put in one tablespoon of pink salt. Um, my husband says it's been kind of salty lately. So I decided I would go ahead and lower the salt content on that. Go ahead and stir this up again. And it is going to take six and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And remember, this is a two-cup measuring cup. going to use the back of the scoop to level it off. There's two. Four. Now be six. And a half. I'm gonna go ahead and put the flour away because sorry about going off screen again. 
because we all know me, I'll knock it over and then I'll have a big old mess to clean up. So I'm just gonna stir this together. video I tend to do lots of videos in one day so if you ever wonder if I ever change shirts yes I do I just video a lot in one day and then don't have to worry about it <laughs> I know that sounds kind of weird but This will be a wet dough, and it's a no-knead dough. Okay, I'm going to put the last half a cup in there. off my whisk this dough whisk is called mrs. Anderson's baking and I actually uh, got it from going to the Bob Red Mill um, factory in Portland but you can get them offline Okay, so the whisk kind of doesn't work right now. So I mean, it works, but it because it's so thick. So I'm just gonna pull it together with my hand. Um, wet your hand, and it doesn't stick as bad usually. Today it's sticking really bad for some reason. And you just want to. because I'm trying to show you guys. All right, so this is what it looks like. And now I'm going to cover it up with a towel. and let it sit for two hours and then we'll move it to a different bowl and then we'll put it in the refrigerator for an hour and a half and then I'll bring it back out after that and we will make some goodies with it. Okay, so the bread has sat for two hours and look how much it's risen. This is the funnest part to me, is I drop it on the counter and it just goes down. So to get it out of the container, you'll want to wet your hand to put it into another container. Or you can use a, 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 a bowl scraper, but I just use my hands. And 
And I use, um, I'll show you in just a second what I use to put it in. Well, other than just this bowl, it's, uh, it's a latch and catch or latch and seal. What you want to do is you put the lid on it and just seal two sides so that it can breathe while in the um, refrigerator for the hour and a half. Um, and then um, we will make some stuff with it later. I'll be back. Hello, welcome back. Earlier in this video, I showed you how to make the 14 day bread. And this is, has set overnight. It only has to originally, originally sit for um, an hour and a half before you go to use it. But I let it sit overnight in the refrigerator. And now I'm going to use it to make some cherry pie filling cinnamon rolls. Um, my recipe is going to be a little different because I don't have any brown sugar. So I'm going to use the butter and then I'll get some um, brown sugar and nutmeg combination thing I have to uh, already put together. And then I will show you how to do this. Right now I need to put this in the oven and let it melt and then we, while we're waiting for that, we will go ahead and get the dough put out so we can uh, do what we need to do for it. And I'll walk you through each step of that. Okay, so I have on the stove, I have a pot with some butter in it. My cinnamon nutmeg combination, I think, will go really good with this. I'm going to move stuff out of my way. I'm going to put some flour down on the counter. Going to grab a hunk of this bread dough. Mm, make a little more. Okay. Just gonna. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm just going to turn off that butter. Pull this to where you can Okay, while well, you're back now, I did not realize that. You're... My phone sometimes shuts off for some reason. Anyway, so give me just a minute.
Okay, I've melted this butter. Some reason this dough is not being nice. Okay, I'm gonna get the butter that I melted on the stove and spread it across this. Making a big mess as usual. I'm going to sprinkle some of this cinnamon and nutmeg. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to wrap this up. And yes, it's going to be messy. Oh, come on. Well, this wasn't the best looking cinnamon roll type things I've ever made in my life, but that's okay. And then I'm going to use a piece of thread to cut it. Anyway, after we get it this filled, we are going to let it um, let them rise in the pan for about 25 minutes, and then we will cook them at 375 for 20 to 25 minutes. Not the best looking cinnamon rolls I've ever made. Well, they're not actually cinnamon rolls, so I guess that's an issue there, but. Oh, come on. Of course, I'm doing it on my camera. I never have this much trouble doing this. Okay, we got those all in there. Now we're going to let them sit and raise for 20 to 25 minutes. This is what 
This is what they look like right now. And I'm going to clean out my mess and I'll be back. Okay, so they have risen for 20 minutes. And now I'm going to put them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes at 375. And I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so this is what the cinnamon rolls look like. Now I'm going to... It's not an easy task to do this. I am going to flip it out onto this platter. And you know what? I have not eating, eaten anything today, so I am actually going to take this one. and see how it tastes. Except you can't see my face. Maybe I can fix that. But see how nice those cinnamon rolls look? Well, actually they're cherry pie filling rolls. I think next time I make them, I will make them with the brown sugar. I'll make sure I have brown sugar. But they're very tasty. And in a few minutes, I will finish this video with the bread. Um, the cooking of the bread. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make a loaf of bread with this 14-day bread dough. So I'm going to just take a chunk out like I did before. So what we're going to do here is again, we're just patting this out. You'll want it about the size of your bread pan. So what you do is you just roll it up after you get it there. Roll it as tight as possible. Folding little sides down. Just like that. And then you stuff them in your bread pan. And then You just cover them up for 40 minutes, and then we will go ahead and bake it. Okay, so looking at the bread dough, it has doubled in size. So now I'm going to stick it in the oven for at 375 for 30 minutes. And I will let you guys see it when I come back. Okay, so this lump of bread has cooked at 375 for 30 minutes. Without burning yourself, put it on a, I call it a cookie tray. Sounds hollow to me. I'm going to flip her on over, and then we're going to let it sit, and later I will cut it, but I'm not going to cut it on video. I've cut breaded before on video, so um, 
You do not want to cut it when it's still warm, though, unless you're going to eat the whole loaf of bread. Because it will make it gummy, and then it won't be good. Well, it'll still be good, but it'll be gummy tomorrow morning when you go to use it for sandwiches or whatever. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share to my channel. And thank you for watching.